right, man. Torture talk. Six o'clock. Six o'clock, everybody. Six o'clock, man. I know y'all just getting off work. You know, everybody's just getting home and all that good stuff, man. King of the North is in the building. <clears throat> Six o'clock show. <clears throat> yeah, man. But you know what? You know what? No, no. I'm not going to make this a six o'clock show. This show right here, I'm going to release this today because I think this needs to come out today. So this is today's show. Today. Whatever time it comes out, but it's going to be today. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> So we're going to talk about Top Dog has said something about Kendrick and this Wayne thing, and I think this is important. And I'm going to break down why I think this coming from Top Dog is very important. <clears throat> I want y'all to understand. It's very important coming from Top Dog. So, look, <clears throat> we're going to get into that, but I got to get my spill. Let me clear my throat real quick. Yeah, this is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links, PayPal, no more. Cash app is in, in the description and all that good stuff. Also, too, man, they call me the king of, you know, king of the north, hidden gym, 1,300 subscribers, over 12,000 and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm all botching this thing today, but I'm excited about talking about this. So, look, let me know where you're from, too. I appreciate everybody. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I love y'all just being here with me every day. I know that I'm in some of y'all routine. You got to see the guy with the shades and the crown. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I wear the hoodie over the crown, you know, but all that good stuff. I'm like, no, 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 no. Come on. So look, let's get to it, man. We're going to get to it. We'll be back to discuss. All right. So look, man, we're going to get to it. This comes courtesy of the bill. You know, we love the bill over here. So look, man. <laughs> Let's get it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you'd like to donate to the channel, the cash out to the top right corner of the video. But well, let's get into it, man, because it appears that Top Dog has sent a message to everybody in regards to Kendrick Lamar. So via Instagram story, Top Dog decided to send a message to everybody in regards to Kendrick Lamar and shared a few words with Kendrick Lamar as well. He says, Dot is a dangerous man right now. And in the story, he says, Dot is a dangerous man right now. Everything I thought he would be at 16 years old is here right now. Everybody stand down. I promise you. Now, here's the thing, right? I want y'all to understand. The reason why this is such a big deal coming from Top Dog. Number one, Top Dog has a amazing ear for music. I'm talking like every TDE project, every one of them are good to classic. There's no trash TDE project. None. If you want to say one is trash, you might pull one out of there that maybe you say it's mid. But there's no trash TDE projects. Not one. Not one. I would go as far as saying they have classics. They have messages in their music they have awesome beats rappers that are amazing concepts the videos everything they have done on tde is out of control it's amazing the work that these people have put in i'm listen bro i'm gonna be honest with y'all tde is in the top five maybe top three record labels of all time record labels of all time it's probably top three Cause you figure you gotta have you gotta have Bad Boy in there. You're gonna have uh, Rockefeller Records, and most of that is Jay Z. To be honest with you, and even with Bad Boy, most of that is Big. He ain't have a couple of joints, but I don't really see too many people beating TDE. But his his word is respected. You have to respect his word because he knows about music. It's not like he's just saying anything, and it's not like he's just saying it because, no, nah, he knows, and he's telling y'all, listen, bro, just chill. Don't do nothing. Just let that man rock. Just let him rock. Now, this is a warning and congratulating Kendrick Lamar on a successful album as well. Now, saying that everything he thought that Kendrick Lamar would be since the very beginning is happening now, 
it's such a phenomenal moment for Top Dog and for Kendrick Lamar, you know, Top Dog with having TDE, managing TDE, all of that, finding Kendrick Lamar at such a young age. And like Kendrick Lamar said in the album, that's his Phil Jackson. And if he's Phil Jackson, Kendrick saying he's Michael Jordan, straight up, if you know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Or Kobe Bryant, either one. You know what I'm saying? Either one. He's one of the, he's one of the goats. You know what I'm saying? Either one. Well, you know. And then telling everybody to stand down, I promise you, it won't end well for you, bro. I promise you. Now, nah, everybody stand down. Yeah, stand down, Drake. Stand down, Lil Wayne. I don't know why Lil Wayne is talking the way that he's talking, bro. You better just keep that inside, bro. You better. I'm beyond, like I said in the last video, you got to understand what you're dealing with. Lil Wayne, I don't think, has ever been in a battle. Ever. I don't think he's ever been in a battle. Let me think about that. He never been, well, Gilly, but he never been in a full-fledged back-and-forth battle. Was Lil Wayne ever in a battle? I don't know about that. That's a good question. Let me know who Lil Wayne was in a battle with. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure I'm sure it's just probably escaping me right now. Um, but, yeah, I'm just telling y'all right now. He, he He's right, bro. Stand up. Just leave that alone, bro. Do not engage with Kendrick Lamar right now. He's on a crazy run right now, bro. You do not want to mess with this man. Professor Terrence Tao is the equivalent of a rock star in mathematics. Regarded. The fact that Top Dog has to come out and say to everybody, everybody stand down, that should already tell you, bro, what it is, bro. Do not mess with him. Do not get in his way. He's on a crazy run right now. You do not want to get in his way, bro. It's only going to end bad for you. They wanted him to come outside. They thought he was antisocial. Now he's outside, and everybody's mad, bro. Everybody's been... That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kendrick Lamar is literally outside. Y'all was basically saying, right, the whole time, y'all was saying, man, Kendrick don't never come out. He don't be doing nothing, bro. I don't understand. He takes so many years to make albums. He does this to make music. I just don't get it, bro. I don't understand why. I don't understand. And then he comes outside, and now y'all mad. He's back outside. He's been outside all year, and y'all mad. He's been outside all year, all year, and y'all mad. Y'all mad. I don't. I, it's just so funny to me how the tables have turned. Y'all, oh, y'all was asking for it, but then when y'all get it, now all of a sudden it's something different. Hey, man. Everybody's upset. They can't believe what's going on right in front of them right now. Kendrick Lamar just dropped a crazy album, bro, with no promo, no promo at all, no advertisement, didn't post it on a billboard, didn't post it on a, on a commercial, didn't wait till the Super Bowl to drop it, didn't do anything, bro. He just said, screw it. Is it Friday? Nah, I guess I'll drop the album. We'll just see how it does over the weekend. And, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, I don't think he even said that. I think he just dropped the album. It's just like, I think Kendrick Lamar is, Kendrick Lamar is already filthy rich. He already got money. Money is not a thing to him. He, I think Kendrick Lamar is in the best position a rapper could ever be in in, in, in history. He's in, a, he's in a, the best position a rapper could be in in history. I'm, I'm definitely putting that, my money on that. Because you think about it, right? Think about it like this, right? <clears throat> Kendrick Lamar has his own label. He just dropped the album from his own label. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna go crazy. It's gonna sell. It's gonna go platinum. I'm telling y'all now the album's going platinum. You know what I'm saying? This is from his own label, not TDE. His own label. His own label. So you gotta understand, right? And he has creative control over his own music, right? He could do whatever he wants to his own music. He don't have to answer to nobody. He has creative control over his own music. And he's an artist. He's not just a, 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 just a regular rapper. You're talking about somebody that now, if he wants to bomb on everybody, he can literally do that, and there's nothing nobody can do about it. Nothing. That's what you got to understand. 
This is pure power right here. He has pure power. Most artists, I would say 99% of artists would never get this type of power ever because they're too caught up in contracts or they don't know how to get uh, to that point. And on top of that, I know that uh, Top Dog is a real one. So since Top Dog a real one, Top Dog was like, look, you're already done. And I'm sure that they still help each other out. This is what you got to understand, man. This is real here. Like, for real. Bro, that is crazy, bro. A lot of rappers out here, they be trying to figure out a creative way to release their album. They'll make a video. They'll make flyers. You could have people like Lil Uzi who have a freaking spaceship in the air in New York City and then sell 60K. Kendrick Lamar, bro. But see, that's the thing. People got to understand. It's not about promo anymore. It's about impact and it's about moments that you create. A lot of these rappers think that they can do. I'm going to put it to you like this. A lot of rappers really feel like they can just do anything and, and basically sell a record. They have these, uh, uh, how would I say this? They have these uh, images. I know that. I know y'all probably like, how you couldn't think of that word? They have these images that they have to uphold. And some of them play into their images. Like little Uzi Vert saying he's an alien and there's a spaceship in the air. And it probably cost him a million dollars. I don't know how much it would cost. It probably cost him a lot of money to get it there. But still in all, you have to understand, they're not risk takers. They basically are staying in the same lane that they've been in. And this is the reason why they keep flopping or they're not selling because people are like, I need somebody that's going to push the envelope, that's going to push the boundaries, that's going to do something that's going to shake the game up. Kendrick is that guy. You know what I'm saying? He's that guy. He shook the game up. And a lot of people just don't, they can't stand it. They hate the fact that he actually did this. They can't stand it. Even record execs can't stand it. But they, there's nothing they can do to him. He's a made man. You can't do nothing to him. There's nothing you can do to him. And on top of that, you can't find him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, where is he at? No one knows. He's invisible. And it's like, he pops out and does his thing and he goes back into hiding. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. He's already going to break the record for most for most sales. And he didn't even do it without any pro. And he did it without any promo, bro. He did it without the help of any advertisement. I'm telling you, bro, this is crazy, bro. And you know, it was funny because I saw this drop. That goes to show you that, and I'm going to run that back a little bit because I know he was still talking. That goes to show you that you don't need none of these marketing teams. Uh, you know what? Let me take that back. You do need marketing teams for certain people do need marketing because they can't, they don't have the cultural impact that he has. But it's just ways you set things up into position. Kendrick Lamar don't need no promo. His name is promo. Kendrick Lamar name is promo. Just his name promo. He don't need his name alone. Carries, it carries so much weight. You know what I'm saying? So much weight. Bro, he did it without the help of any advertisement. I'm telling you, bro, this is crazy, bro. And you know, it was funny because I saw this dropping an album with zero promo because you're just a chill guy like that. <laughs> you're just a chill guy. I don't need to do promo. <laughs> I don't need to do promo. I'm just going to drop it and see what happens. If they like it, they like it. If not, if not. And this is exactly what Top Dog was talking about. He said, Dot is a dangerous man right now. Everything I thought he would be at 16 years old is here right now. And I think it's really good how. Kendrick used the example of calling top dog Phil Jackson because you might have the skill set, but you need the coaching. Every great basketball player needed a good coach. Michael Jordan. And here's the thing, too. Here's another thing that I think a lot of people are, are not acknowledging. Um, Kendrick Lamar has been doing this for a long time, and I think a lot of people are just, and it's so crazy to say this. It's so crazy to say this. It's so crazy to say this. He's been doing this for so long that a lot of people, they don't know 
a lot of these newer people, they don't even acknowledge his old material. Like, they don't even know about Good Kid Mad City. They don't know about To Pimp a Butterfly. They don't know about, they know about Damn and, and, and On. They think that they don't even have albums before that. They don't know about, about Section 80. They don't know about all these things. They don't know about, about uh, him changing his voice. They don't know about none of this. They just look at it like he's just this new rapper or this guy who just started rapping. You know what I'm saying? You got to ask this. He's been in this game for a long time. I've Drake been in the game longer, but his impact on the game within less time, with less albums, this is why he's better than Drake. And this is why he will continue to be better than Drake. And this is why people will always hate him. He's going to go down as one of the most hated and loved rappers of all time. Like, a lot of people are going to say this, but they're going to eventually bend the knee. I'm going to be honest with y'all. All y'all talking crazy on Kendrick, y'all eventually going to bend the knee. Y'all going to y'all gonna bend. Y'all going to be like, you know what? Because even, even his haters, I'm going to put it to you like this. If Kendrick Lamar was to drop an album the same day Drake dropped the album, more people would listen to Kendrick. Even Drake's fans would listen to Kendrick album before they listen to Drake album. I can almost guarantee that. Almost guarantee that. Jordan had Phil Jackson, and Phil Jackson was the person that helped Jordan get his ring. I don't think Michael Jordan couldn't have done it without Phil Jackson's coaching. I mean, I'm just being real. You have the skill, but you just need the guidance. And the guidance is very important just as much as the skill. And everybody, just stand down, bro. This is a warning as well as giving Kendrick his flowers. More importantly, I think it's a warning because it's like, bro, I see everything on the internet. I see what some people feel some type of way. A lot of people feel some type of way. Just stand down. Just don't, just forget about it. Don't even engage in it. I really don't think it's going to end well for you. I don't think it's going to be a good idea if you come around Kendrick Lamar with that type of energy. You already saw what happened to the last rapper. You already saw how some people are already feeling now. This is a warning, bro. Just let it go. Don't even engage. Eject. I'm telling you, mate, now, Top Dog knows. Top Dog knows. You got to pay attention to what Top Dog says because he's basically saying, like, I'm, I'm obviously, we all know Top Dog probably heard all this stuff already. And he has a, he has an ear for music. I'm telling y'all, he has an ear for music. And he heard this stuff. I never tell you, listen, bro. I know that was kind of weird. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. And this, this is this is real, right? I admire, I admire West Coast niggas, man. I think West Coast niggas, man. I'm an East Coast man. I'm, I'm king of the North. You know what I'm saying? I admire West Coast dudes because they stand on business, and they are so connected with each other, even. Even the ops or the other side or people who are different, different sets, they still are connected with each other on some level. You know what I'm saying? Like Kendrick shouting out Crips on this joint. And he's affiliate, affiliated with Bloods. They're so connected. It's so, it's, it's, the West Coast to me is so it's not bizarre, but it's so fascinating. Their culture is a different type of culture to me. The way they move is totally different than way. And I and and there was somebody said that uh, it was I believe it was Tretch from Naughty by Nature. Tretch said back in the day he said Tretch said the West Coast is like a whole nother world. He said, this is, he said, and I was, you know, I'm at, back in the day, I'm an East Coast. I was hating. Nah, get out of here, man. It's all about the concrete jungle. You crazy. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. Tim's and fatigues, man. We out here. We militant. You know what I'm saying? We out here. We out here. You know what I'm saying? You out here. And I'm thinking back in the day, I didn't understand because I never was to the West Coast. Obviously, I'm going to side with the East Coast. But now that I'm starting, I'm starting to learn about the West Coast. Oh, man. Oh, man. I. They have so much more, and I hate to say this, they are they have so much more integrity than a lot of people that I've ever seen on the East Coast. They have so much more integrity. And they stick together like a family. You know what I'm saying? You whenever you hear about the West Coast, they stick up for each other. East Coast, whatever. 50, man, get out of here. 
man, get out of here, man, you're crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, people kick each other down over on this side. Over there, I would say that this, they get it popping over there, but it's a lot of love over there, too. And I just got to say that, man. I have to say that. Uh, back up, back out, you know, back us out. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> it's not going to end well, bro. I promise you. So, Kendrick, Top Dog, all that, bro. Always looked at Top Dog TDE. I always looked at um, Top Dog as uh, like the the, sh the the better Suge Knight. I mean, Suge Knight, you know, really had made a lot of mistakes that cost him his freedom. But I think Top And that's another thing, too, a lot of people not understanding. Top Dog is a made man. He's a made man. And everybody knows this. And I'm thinking that a lot of people, when he speaks, he's heard. So when he's saying this, that's why I don't think Wayne's going to say anything. I don't think Wayne is going to say anything because I think that Top Dog is basically putting it out there. You don't want to do that, bro. He basically putting it out there. Dog is definitely a better version of Suge Knight, if you ask me. I don't know why that's the comparison. I guess because TDE has always been considered like that new death row. I know death row still exists right now, uh, but it always it always gave that vibe. People people always had that conversation. So that's kind of how I always looked at it. Always a better version, a more positive version, because death row unfortunately had a lot of problems, a lot of internal issues which I felt um, overshadowed their success eventually. And then everybody had split up. Snoop Dogg left, Dr. Dre left, Tupac had passed. All these things had happened. But with TDE, it's more solid. It's more well-structured, um, becoming successful over time. So I think it's really good. And sometimes Top Dog doesn't get as much credit as he deserves for structure. That, that's 100% facts. That's what I've been saying. Top Dog does not get the credit he deserves, bro. I mean, he's going to eventually. They're going to have to because he's putting out too much good material. You got to give him the credit. I'm giving him the credit now, bro. He's in the top three. He's in the top. TDE's in the top three best record labels of all time. I'm just putting it out there. At, at least top five. At least top five. But I'm giving them top three. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving them top three all this in a proper way for all these rappers to eat all these rappers to carve a name and a lane for themselves and Kendrick being one of the biggest one out of there I know he's not with TDE anymore I know he's with PG Lang but TDE and Kendrick Top Dog are still very close I think it's a very successful thing that that uh, Top Dog has done you know as somebody coming out the way and we hear the stories on Duckworth about about Top Dog and how he used to roll back in the day and becoming a businessman entrepreneur and then now we have kendrick lamar with pg lang and dave free trying to be an executive himself he he also talks about it on the album as well becoming an, an executive wanting to make a name for himself wanting to be an executive is the next step i think for kendrick lamar i think in the magazine that we had covered on this channel we had talked about how kendrick lamar uh doesn't want it to just end in rap he doesn't want rap for him to be the end goal, he feels like there's still more to, to do, there's more to see, and there's more for him to accomplish. And I, and I feel that. I feel that. I think that that Kendrick Lamar is going to be a superstar no matter what. He's already a superstar, but he's going to be a superstar. And it's so crazy how Kendrick Lamar fits the mold of, of a super, super, super uh, rapper. I know it's kind of weird to say, but he fits the mold of super hip hop star and people treating him like he's, he's really not that good. It's because they want to put the other guy in his place and it's not going to happen. In other realms of, um, of this space than just rap. So I think it was a good perspective that he had gave in that interview. I forgot what it was, but we have it on the channel. You can check it out. But seeing where these guys were at and seeing where they're at now it just talked it's just the effort the drive and the fact that they just kept trying they kept trying 
we know that he talked about J Rock's deal and the Heart Six, the real Heart Part Six, by Kendrick Lamar. We saw what he talked about when they were in the studio all the time, always trying to figure it out. When J Rock got signed, he said, "If he made it, then I made it." Like it was just a whole team effort, bro. And really, really, yeah, that's 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 true. That's true. I I like. I I wish they would have did a Black Hippies album. And I still believe that they're going to do that. I know a lot of y'all don't believe that, but I still believe that a Black Hippie album is coming. I believe it's going to happen. I believe they're going to do it. If they got, maybe they got a bunch of songs together that they're going, I believe it's going to happen. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but I still believe it. I mean, at this point, I think the hard part six is a song that I've always played constantly uh, from this album. I think it's the most most replayed song from the album that I've listened to because of the message in the song. The You, you just hear the, the effort that they always gave to become successful in this rap game. Like it just, it just really paints a picture, really good storytelling. You go check it out. I'm pretty sure you already heard it, but you hear it again. It's just the storytelling in the song is just next level, bro. It's yeah, it definitely is. It's definitely next level. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Make sure y'all go uh, subscribe to the bill. I'm trying to get him over 10,000 10, subs. I think he's almost dead, so. Definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe to the bill. <laughs> All right, look, man. So, Top Dog is one of those record execs, TDE. He puts his heart and soul into the music, and this is why. And I don't think that he allows anything to come out that's really mid or not that good. And I think that at this point in Kendrick's career, people are just trying to look for anything to say negative. And they can't. It's really nothing they can say or do. At this point, Kendrick is a made man. He's already a legend. There's nothing you can do. You just got to just take it. That's it. You just got to take it. Because right now, if you're coming for him, it's a wrap for you. So you just got to take it. You can't, you can't fight it. You can't fight it. Either you're going to fight it and lose or you just don't fight it at all. And that's my, that's my, my, uh, how do I say this? That's my, that's my uh, advice to people like Lil Wayne. Don't even say nothing, bro. Because it's too many angles he can take on you. And he's going to exploit it. And he's going to do it to where it's going to stick. You don't want to do that, bro. I, I like Lil Wayne. I always like Lil Wayne. He just doesn't have the clarity to beat Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar is not a metaphor rapper. He can be a metaphor rapper. But he's not a metaphor rapper. You have to understand that. He uses... He's an emotional rapper. He, he picks at people's emotion. He knows how to pull on heartstrings. He knows exactly what to say and what not to say. Lil Wayne can't do that. He'd never be able to do that. It's, at least in, in, his, in, in this is career right now, the only sentimental song that he had came close to something like that is How to Love. That's it. But he, he, he got bars. Like, Lil Wayne got bars. Don't get me wrong. He has bars. He has double entendres. He has bars. But you're dealing with somebody that has bars, double entendres, and, and writing skills, uh, anything you could think of. Anything you could think of. He is foot on a gas 100 straight at you. So I don't think Wayne should go down that road. Either way, though, man, Top Dog sent out a warning. And I uh, hope he listens. But... I'm out of here, man. That was supposed to be the 6 o'clock show, but that's coming out today. 6 o'clock show will be tomorrow. So, all right, you know what? This is a 6 o'clock show. This is a 6 o'clock show for today. All right, man. I'll see y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>